and welcome to FPV for Beginners. This is episode number 10. And in this episode, if you just bought yourself a digital quad with a digital camera, digital system for sending out the transmission, and you also bought yourself the goggles and the remote, or maybe you just have the goggles and not the remote. Well, I'm gonna show you how to set this up in this here episode. Now, before I get started, I have to say thank you to iFlight because they sent me for this episode, the iFlight DC5 Titan. Now the Titan, I have the 6S version and I've flown it around many times. This here is the 4S version, and when you take it out of the box, this is what it looks like. It is an awesome drone right in the front. You have a DJI FPV camera. You have the DJI FPV system right here. Super powerful motors. This is probably one of the best drones to fly in the FPV world. So I'm super happy that iFlight sent it to me, and we're going to set this up for the very first time in this video. Now, before we get started, a few things you need to know. One is that DJI likes to update the firmware on its products quite often. So if the firmware on my goggles does not match the firmware on my radio or the firmware on my drone, nothing will work and you will be wondering what's going on. So you have to update the firmware and have it all the same on all of these items here. And you do that by downloading the DJI FPV Assistant for FPV, put it on your Mac or your PC, then just use a USB-C cable, plug these in, and you'll see it will just update automatically. You'll have to register them or activate them and update it, and everything will work, and that includes your drone as well. And then everything will be on the same firmware, and you're ready to go. So when you connect the goggles to your PC or Mac to do the firmware update, use the USB-C input right here. When you connect your radio, use the USB-C input right here. And when you connect the quad, make sure you find this big silver thing here. It will have a USB-C input. If you have a CADEX Vista system, this will look a little bit different, but it will have a USB-C system on it where you can connect. So if you haven't done that already, do that now. Next, to set everything up, you're gonna need two batteries because you'll need a battery for the goggles and a battery for the drone. Finally, the last thing you're gonna need is a paper clip. I'm showing it here on the screen. You need a paper clip because there's a tiny little bind hole on the drone and on the glasses and you have to poke the hole to put it into bind mode and that's basically what you're going to see in this video which I'm going to show you now. Here we go. So here we go. You've just bought yourself the DJI FPV system. You got yourself the FPV goggles, the FPV radio, and you bought yourself a nice quad. This is a really nice one. I have this from iFlight. Never been flown. It's a DC5 Titan. First things first, find your quad and find the antennas. Put the antennas on it. Mine just happened to screw on the rear because it is a DJI system. If you get a CADEX Vista system, it might only have one antenna, but that's okay. These antennas are for your communication for video and for telemetry. Take off the little bubble off the camera, get rid of that. And we're pretty much all set to go for the binding process. Let me show you how to bind your goggles to your drone. Here we go. First thing we do is give power to the goggles by plugging in a battery. I'm trying to do this by looking through a camera display. There we go. Fan goes on, you can hear it. Next item, put a battery on the quad with the props off and plug it in. There we go. It's gonna do its sound, one more sound. We're all good to go. With a battery connected, you can see the light flashing down here. You will see a green light here and a hole right there. That's your bind hole. Now you're gonna have to find yourself a paper clip and bend it so that you can get the end in that hole. All right, so I'm gonna give that a quick push and the light should change. Push and we go to a different color. On the bottom of your goggles, you have a bind hole. Let me try to get that in there and press it. There's all those beeps and it should be looking for this and it found it and now this light should be green. So now if you look inside your goggles, well, I'm upside down here, but uh, you have an image that you can see. All right, let's take our goggles, put them aside over here. Next, let's bind to our controller right here. So first thing we do is power it on. What is key on the controller is this light here. It's red. That means it's not connected to anything. So we have to put this in bind mode, this controller, but we can only do that after we put this in bind mode as well. So once again, our trusty paper clip, find that hole. See the light is green. Push this in and I'm gonna change, I'm gonna put it into bind mode again. Now on the controller, you have to use three buttons. You can see on mine, I've already marked it here. So I have bind, it means I'm gonna press this one and then I'm gonna press this one bind and then I'm gonna push this dial inwards. So here we go, push, push and push. 
it's in bind mode, it's flashing. We want green down here. Did we get green? Yes, we did. That means this must be green. And there we go. So now this operates this. They are bound together. All right, here we have my computer screen. And if you watched my video on how to configure an analog drone to Betaflight, you see why I'm just filming my computer screen because I'm gonna use my fingers to point at things. So here we have our little drone right here. And there we have our computer screen. First thing you need to do is start up Betaflight. I have it over here, so I'm gonna double click on that. And Betaflight is an app you download from the internet and I will put links below this video to where you can find it. First thing you do is take your remote, make sure it's powered on. You'll see there's a red light here because our drone is not connected at the moment. Next, take your drone, put a battery on it and plug the battery in. So I'll do that right now. Make sure there's no props. This way it will connect to the remote. And you'll see, I'll bring this over. I got a green light on the remote, so we are connected. Now we're gonna plug this here drone into the PC or Mac. When you plug your drone into your PC or Mac, do not use the FPV silver unit, use the connection on the flight controller, right on that circuit board, that's where you're gonna plug it in. So I have a cable here and I'm gonna plug it in and watch, it's gonna to talk to the computer. We should hear something and we're gonna see this drone on the screen. There we go. So if I move over here, let's see, where can I see it? So if I tilt my drone one way, it tilts on the screen, tilts again, spin it, it spins, all the good stuff. So we're connected. Next, take a look at the left-hand side of your screen. It says setup, ports, and configuration. You want to go to the one that says receiver. Click on that and make sure when you move your little controls on your radio that they move on the screen. Yeah, 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 I'll be with you in a second. There we go. So there's my throttle control. Throttle is moving up and down. And if I do yaw, yaw is moving left and right. And pitch, pitch forward, pitch backwards. Life is good. Now what I want to do in beta flight is I want to put my mode switch over here. This is because that's my liking. And I want my arm switch to be on this side. So I go down on my left hand side, go down to modes. First one that I see on the screen, it says arm. And it says it's on auxiliary one. So DJI uses simple math. That's one, two, three, four. So in order to move my arm switch from this switch to that switch, I have to go one, two, three, four. So that will be auxiliary four. Go to number four and let's go and drag this over here because I like my arm switches to go this way. And there we go. So now if I move number four, there we are. So that is arm right there. And I can move this little piece of yellow icon as I move my switch. Arm is set up. So once again, we do some simple math. One, two, three. So that's auxiliary three. So let's go find that. First mode is angle mode. Change this to auxiliary three. There we go. Now I have to set this yellow line to a location where I want angle mode to take place. So I want it to be like this. Now take a look at the bottom. See this little, little yellow marker over here? As I move the switch, you see, I can move this yellow marker. It's over there, one more time, over there. So when this yellow marker is under this yellow bar, that equals this mode, that's angle mode. So that's what I want. I like my angle mode right there. It means when my switch is in the center position, I'm in angle mode. So that's good. Next, I wanna do horizon mode. Horizon mode down here, I'm gonna click add range. And I know horizon mode is also on auxiliary three because it's the same switch, just another position. And I'm gonna drag this yellow bar over this way. So when this yellow icon moves over here, I'm in horizon mode. And when the yellow icon moves to the center, I'm in angle mode. So let's see if that works. If I flick this, there we go. Horizon mode, flick it again, angle mode. And I flick it all the way down. It's over here and there's nothing there. If you have nothing listed, that means that's acro mode. Very important, down over here is your save button. Make sure you click on that. Save, there we go. I know this switch over here will now arm the drone. And I know this switch here, which I have a little sticker that says modes, is gonna put in the modes. And I know the mode farthest away from me, I've set it for horizon mode. Middle is angle and all the way towards me, which I fly in professional mode is acro mode. So that is about 99% of all you have to configure on this drone to go flying. The last 1% is what you see in your goggles. A lot of times people like to change that because they're very particular. I don't, I leave it all on standard, but if you want to change it, I'll show you where it is. You're not going to wreck anything by changing it. So let me show you. So on your modes tab over here, go all the way down to where it says OSD. 
OSD stands for on-screen display. So right here, it's showing you what you're gonna see in your goggles when you're flying, like some information along the bottom that will show up. DJI already puts information in their goggles on the screen. So sometimes you have to be careful because you might have information overlapping other information. So over on this side, always go with number one and put check marks in the items that you want to have appear on your OSD while you're flying. So I just leave it bare minimum because the DJI goggles do a great job. But if you want to start changing stuff, put a bunch of check marks in what's ever written down the side here. There's a lot of stuff you can add. It's huge. And you can make three different profiles. And then over here, you just pick the profile you want for at any time. Make sure after you change things, you hit the save button or else nothing will save. And on the screen, if I put my cursor over anything that I set, I can move it. You can actually click on it and drag it around the screen anywhere you want. So it's that simple. Set it up how you want, make it yours, which you like to see. The only one I usually add is crosshairs right down here. So I'm gonna put the crosshairs, which is a little crosshair in the center of my screen. And there it is, it's right there. That just tells me when I'm flying through objects, I'm going to the center. So I'm gonna go over here, hit save. And now that will save it into my little drone and we can go flying. So next thing you do is go up here and hit disconnect because everything is saved. There we are. Take your drone, unplug it. All good. And then unplug the battery. Next, put the props on your drone and go fly. Have fun. Enjoy. All right, so this brings me to the end of this video. The digital system is so awesome and so easy to set up as you saw in this video compared to the analog system. So hopefully this helped you out. Now, if you're one of those guys who bought a drone that has, you know, like the digital camera, but you put a receiver in it, like a FR Sky XM Plus receiver, and you have to use, where's one of my analog radios here? You have to use an analog radio to fly it. No problem. Just watch episode nine and episode nine will show you how to set up, you know, your radio for a new model and then do your beta flight stuff. And with that said, I say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions about anything I just showed you here today, you can post them below and I will get back to you. But for now, I say thanks for watching again and we'll catch you in the next video.